So, Paul, thank you for speaking to us. No problem. Um, firstly, what made you want to run as a parliamentary candidate in, in Merton? Uh, I, I care about the area. I've worked in the area for a number of years. There's a number of things that I think we need to tackle and focus, what I've been focusing on in the campaign, such as housing, clean streets, making sure there's investment in our three town centres, Mitch and Morton and Colliers Wood. Uh, so yeah, actually about changing the way the local area firstly, but also about the way the country's uh, been run. You know, I think that if you have a look at the economic recovery that we've got, you look at the amount of jobs that are coming through, taking um, the lowest earners out of tax altogether, that's why I'm in politics, to help people and improve people's lives. Right. And um, so obviously you've seen the latest exit polls. Yeah. What are your What are your thoughts on the fact that it, is making very big gains? It's an exit poll, firstly. We've had, I think we've had five results but when I left the House. Um, but they are all looking like the exit poll could be accurate. It's very early, um, but I would expect that usually the exit polls are correct. The last time, as you know, was 92. Uh, I've actually been saying that I think this could be a 92 election where a lot of people were not telling us that they were voting for us, but they've gone down to the ballot box and voted for stability. Um, so actually, I think the exit poll probably will be accurate, but it could change because it's quite early. And what do you think of possible coalition agreements? You know, perhaps we might need the help of the UK or... Yep. I think it's too early to say. Uh, my preference, and I think what we may hear from the Prime Minister tomorrow, though I might get told for saying this, is that I think we might go it alone. I think we have the numbers to go it alo alone. The Labour Party line that's currently out there that we won't be able to command the confidence of the House is utter rubbish. Their plan to lock us out of power with the SNP will not work. They don't have the numbers. Uh, and we're only 10 seats off of the majority. So I think we have the numbers. It's clear that the Conservatives have won this election. Um, and I think that let's not talk about coalitions yet. We've still got a lot of counts to go. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.